well good morning today i'm trying something new i'm doing a photo trip slash bike camping trip um, to arlington which is about 30 miles the trip the way i'm going about 30 miles from my home i'm using my e-bike with a burly trailer and hopefully i'll be able to get some photos for stock photography along the way maybe even some fine art photography crossing my fingers um, my big concern other than the weather we've had really nice sunny weather for the last oh i guess about two weeks but the one day that i reserved to go to this uh glamping uh, trip of course the weather turns and it starts raining so i'm a bit worried about it being rainy bit of an interruption there a bunch of traffic just went by um, the other thing that i'm worried about is my battery i'm taking my e-bike and the battery is rated for about 45 miles and this is about a 30 mile trip from what i can tell so hopefully i won't run out of battery on the last hill. We'll be crossing my fingers that I make it. Um, I've got kind of a heavy burly trailer over full. I, I know I overpacked today, but I wanted to bring some props along for uh, taking for stock photography. And, so between that and uh, all my camera equipment, the, uh, the bike is pretty well weighed down. Of course, me too. So. Without further ado, let's get this trip started. made it to Lake Cassidy, which is about the halfway point. I'm feeling pretty optimistic um, that I'll make it. I don't know about my battery, but I've been on eco mode as much as possible the whole trip, which is okay because it's pretty flat. You know, this is pretty exciting as a trip for me. I haven't done any bike packing or camping or real long distance rides since, um, well, in about 25 years. So if I can pull this off, even with an e-bike, I'm going to be pretty 
pretty proud of myself at this age. I'll check in later. Hopefully, um, we'll see you at the yurt. Getting closer! Yay! <laughs> so I made it! This is the next day. I uh, made it here just in time yesterday. The uh, battery on my bike was flashing empty. That was just a little over 39 miles I, I went on it, and the battery is rated for 45 miles, which I feel was a, a really good um, range yesterday, uh, considering how heavy the, uh, the bike and the burly trailer was loaded down. I have all my camera equipment, which is quite heavy, and um, all my camping uh, accessories. So between all of that, I think it was close to 50 pounds. So getting here um, with just zero, ba just zero <laughs> or on zero was just perfect. I also made it right before the rain, about uh, 20 minutes after I got here, it really started pouring. Not sure why, but my GoPro just turned itself off. So if I was cut off, oh well. Uh, just wanted to say about the rain. Now, I'm at a, a yurt in the um, River Meadows uh, Snohomish County Park, and it's been very pleasant. Let me show you around. This is my yurt. Um, it's got plenty of space for a, a lot more people than just me. I think they rate it for eight people. There's a futon and a couple of bunk beds. And it was a very comfortable sleep last night. The coffee table. And there's a, a charger for my battery, so I'll have plenty of battery going back. And, of course, here's my e-bike with the trailer. So today I plan on heading out to um, explore the area on my bike, probably. And um, right now I'm going to walk down to the river and see if there's any interesting photos. <laughs> It's raining and I came into this canopy of trees. And I was looking for some my macro shots to, to do, which was kind of what I wanted to try out on this uh, bicycle trip anyhow. So it kind of forced me into my game. Um, I came across the first one that I'm interested in. I'm not sure if you can see it because of the reflections. It's still a lot of reflections, even though it's pretty overcast. But I found my first um, photo 
kind of inspired by Simon Booth, another uh, photographer in the UK, um, that I really like his, his forest floor shots. So I wanted to try some similar shots here in Washington State. So what I have is a uh, leaf amongst the bunch of moss. And I'm on F8 2.0. And I think the exposure is about three seconds. It um, is soft around the edges, so I focus stacked. But I don't know if I'm going to actually focus stack it or not. I'm kind of in the camera like it with the fuzzy sides. So I might just leave it that way. If it turns out, I'll show it to you now. So I'm still in this little... Uh, cove of trees. Uh, another macro shot with a leaf on the, um, the moss here. Uh, shooting at f8, ISO 200, of course on a tripod because it's like 30 seconds. And uh, I'm focus stacking it as well. If it turns out, I'll put it up now. since five o'clock this morning. It's really pretty down here at the river, but I think it's time to head back and make some lunch.
So it's time to go home. And this is what I have to pack into the burley. It's all the stuff I brought. And um, let's see if we can get it all back into the, the bike and the burley and head on home.
I mentioned I had a spare battery. Trip home has been a little bit more headwinds and a little bit more uphill. And to be honest, I've been using uh, pedal assist three and four a little bit more. So this should get me hopefully the rest of the way home. I only have about 10 miles to go. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and my bike packing e-bike venture. That's a wrap.